The new Nano Banana Pro is now in Photoshop, and the jump in quality is huge. This new version creates sharper images at 2K, it keeps text clean and readable, and it blends complex scenes with way more precision. You can use this new model in Photoshop right now. It works just like Gemini 2.5, but the results look much better. Instead of repeating last month's tutorial but with a new model, I want to show you a different workflow. This time, we'll use Nano Banana Pro inside of Adobe Firefly. If you still want the Photoshop breakdown, just follow last month's tutorial but use the new model. The link to that video is down below. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Let me show you how it works. First, go to firefly.adobe.com. From this dropdown, make sure image is selected. Then go into the models dropdown, which includes all of Adobe's partner models, including models not inside of Photoshop, like Gemini 3 Nano Banana Pro. But instead of doing this, I recommend clicking on the more button. That brings you into this generative workspace and it makes things a lot easier to see. Here's a tip. You can click on this link to learn more about how prompting works in Firefly. To start, select the model that is the new Gemini 3 with Nano Banana Pro. Then you can select an aspect ratio, any aspect ratio will do, and you can upload up to six reference images. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to click on this icon to upload my first image and I will select your device. You can also use images found in your Adobe Cloud Storage, which include other previously generated images and your Creative Cloud libraries. I'll go into your device and I'll upload this portrait of myself. Then I'll click on this icon once again to upload my second reference image. Once again, I'll do it from my device and I will upload this photo of me as a baby. Then I'll add the prompt, have the man hold the baby. Then I'll click on generate. And in a few moments, we'll get an image of me holding myself as a baby. And there you go, the image looks fantastic. I'm wearing the same outfit on both images, my black sweater and this little blue overall I was wearing when I was several months old. To download the image, you can click on this download button. And this is not all. Firefly has a fantastic feature I'm sure you're going to love. Let me show you how it works. Go back to the homepage at firefly.adobe.com or you can click on this icon. And from here, click on ideate. This will bring you into the Firefly boards. From here, click on create board, then bring images from your device by clicking on upload. And from here, select the images you want to upload. You can do more than one at a time. I'm just going to do one for now so I can show you how to come back to this screen. If you want to add a second image once you're in the board, you can click on this icon to add content, select your device, and this time I will bring in this jacket. And I will make this a much, much smaller image. These images are way too large. Of course, I could also zoom out if I wanted to, but I think in this case, I'm simply going to scale these images down by dragging on the corner handles just so that we can see them on screen. And what I'm going to do is take advantage of one of the great new features in Firefly boards, which are the presets. When you click on this presets button, you will see several generative AI workflows. All you need to do is select the one that you want to use. For example, we're going to try the virtual try on. When you click on that, you will see that we are going to use Gemini 2.5, not the new one. I'm going to show you how to change that in a moment to generate a virtual try on. So first click on subject, then hover over the image that you want to apply the clothing to. Notice that I have an eyedropper. When I click on that photo of myself, it loads it into the subject box. Then you can click on clothing and click on the clothing and you don't have to do anything else. No prompt needed. Simply click on generate. But I want to take advantage of the new Gemini 3 with Nano Banana Pro. To do that, all I need to do is click on this icon that reads view prompt. And from here, you can click on this drop down and choose the new Gemini 3 with Nano Banana Pro. Also, make sure that the aspect ratio matches your image. In this case, I need to select portrait. Then you can click generate. In a few moments, we'll generate an image where I'm wearing the brown leather jacket. You can click on the X to collapse the prompt and other settings. Everything is still generating in the background. And to come back to it, you can click on the virtual try on preset. And there it is. My generation is complete. Now what I'll do is just pan over to the right so that I can get some space and I can drag that new generation onto the board. And there I am. And let's compare the jacket that I'm wearing versus a jacket we use as a reference. It's pretty similar. It looks fantastic. And to save this image to device, Enable the generated image, 
and click on the download button. Another important thing I should mention is that the output at the moment is 2K. If you upload an image that is a lower resolution, then Gemini 3 will upscale it automatically. It's like a free generative upscale. Now I'll quickly go through a few presets and what my results were using the same portrait. This is the electric party preset and somehow Google Nano Banana 3 knew exactly the outfit that I wore last year at my Christmas party. Then we have the cartoonify effect, which does a fantastic job. I really like this image. Then we have character and product where I uploaded this shoe and Gemini generated that image of me jumping wearing those sneakers. This is the Y2K preset. The image is not bad, but I'm not so sure about the clothes that I'm wearing. And this is the cinema preset. I really like it. It feels like I'm a New York mobster. What do you think? And of course, there's plenty more presets that I recommend that you try out and see if you can use them in your projects. Also, make sure that you look at how the prompts are written. It may help you spark some ideas for other types of images. And by the way, you may have noticed that I haven't been posting much lately on this YouTube channel, and I do apologize for that, but my very first child was just born, and as you can imagine, she's keeping me real busy. But don't worry, I'll continue to post on a weekly basis again very soon. And if you haven't already, check out my Photoshop AI Mastery course and my Selections and Masking Mastery course. The link is below in the description. Thank you so much for watching.